Hey everyone, how are you this uh, Saturday afternoon? Bess McCarty here, coach for Network Marketers, also called the Shrink of MLM. I am sitting here in Kansas and we have about six inches of snow out there and it's still snowing. We're expecting to get some more. It's a very cozy day to come to you and talk with you about how to get unstuck in life, uh, especially in network marketing, but the process that I'm going to mention helps you to get unstuck in any um, area that you're working in, whether it be health, wealth, love, or anything. Welcome, Liz. Glad to see you. If you're watching the replay, love if you type in replay because I'd like to thank you and also love to hear where you're from because um, I, I just think this is so cool that we can get together and chat like this, isn't it? Facebook Lives. Thank you, Facebook. So, how to get unstuck. Speaking to you today as a shrink. I am a body-mind therapist, um, holistic health practitioner for 30 years now helping people. Um, I trained in Body Mind College in San Diego uh, over 30 years ago, and then I went and taught and I trained holistic health practitioners and, and trained body mind therapists for 30 years there. So um, um, <laughs> it's a pretty deep, pretty deep history that I have as a therapist. Welcome, Denise. Glad to see you. And welcome, Mary. Glad to see you too. So uh, just a, a little bit about me. Who am I to speak about this stuff, right? <laughs> I, I, I have been a full-time network marketer for years. Full-time helped me raise my son as a single mom. Um, even before that, I, uh, well, after that, yeah, after my company went out of business, I became a body-mind therapist. I went to school at Body Mind College and took a 1,000 hours of training there to become a body-mind therapist to be able to help people with my own personal growth and to help other people with their personal growth. So some of my my backgrounds and things, well, even after that, I, I took many years more of training because I fell in love with all the personal growth field. And I know that that include body work. So I became a body-mind therapist, a neuromuscular therapist. I do body reading. I can read body psychology and know what body, you know psychological correlations are connected with that posture or with that disease. I'm an RET technician, rapid eye technology technician, which is like an advanced EMDR. I'm a martial artist, Tai Chi instructor, Reiki master, rebirther, inner child therapist, compassionate communication teacher, um, and a network marketing teacher and a minister. I developed a process called Real Conversations with Ourselves that can help you to get unstuck, to help you to get to self-coach. And the way to, to do that if you're stuck in any area is to figure out where you're stuck. In other words, what the four steps, what the problem is. Number two, what the emotion is under that, because that often helps to cue you into the third thing, which is the need under that. That is the hidden part. A lot of times our needs are hidden from us because of our training in childhood that says, you, you don't, oh, you don't need that. You're not hungry. You don't, you're not angry or stop being angry. Uh, so we, a lot of times hide the needs, we hide our feelings and hide our needs. Those are two things that we are, likely not to be in touch with very much. So how can you meet a need if you don't even know what it is? That's the great um, the great uh, hidden thing that we need to be a detective and we need to get to undercover that to be able to break through things. And when we feel stuck, we need to un uncover and discover like a detective and find out what the hidden need is before we can meet that need and then boom, the stuck thing goes away. The block that was in the way goes away. And I'll share a little bit about what those blocks are. Hi, Steve. Hi, Denise. Just saying hi to everybody. Glad you're here. And hi, Casey. Welcome. So everybody gets stuck from time to time or else we wouldn't be growing. Everybody runs up against ceilings and, uh, you know, we're moving along in life and then whammo, there's a, a block, an obstacle, and we might not know how to overcome it. So that's where it's helpful to reach out to someone, either a therapist, mentor, uh, upline if you're in network marketing. But not all, not many uplines are really trained in therapy like a coach is or like, like a therapist like I am. So that's where I fill, fill in that need when people are stuck and they don't know why and they, they, need, they need some help. And it's okay to need help because <laughs> who wouldn't want to get there faster, easier, better, and farther? That's what help does. And... We're not alone in this world. We're not an island. People are here to, to help out. So reach out, ask. Remember that every problem has a solution, and the solution is always within your reach. Always. 
or else what would be the purpose of having a challenge is to develop our creativity and to develop something within us because this life is a school, right? So every problem has a solution and it's to make us grow, make us more creative, but sometimes we have to work for it. We have to ask, look, read a book, be open, be coachable, but it's okay to ask and it's okay to get help. Welcome, Michael. Welcome, Debbie. So glad to see you. So I was just sharing a little bit about my background and um, who I help, and I'll share a technique in, in just a moment about how to get past stuck places. I help people who are stuck, not just network marketers, but anybody stuck in any areas of life. Um, it might be their career, it might be their health, it might be their relationships. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll specifically gear this down to network marketers because I'm called, I've been dubbed the shrink of MLM, and I like that. I think it's cute, and I think it's accurate, <laughs> uh, kind of catchy. But I help network marketers especially who feel, who feel frustrated and stuck and procrastinate, putting off things one more day. It's hard to face something within myself, but usually it's hard to face the fear, right? Um, like a lot of times network marketers might not know what, who to talk to or what to say. And they imagine that they won't be liked or welcome or that they're intruded or that they're going to be rejected. I know that very well because I was one. was a full-time network marketer for years and a scared one. <laughs> I used to be very shy, didn't want to talk to anybody, I'd rather keep to myself, um, didn't want to put myself out there, didn't want to risk being criticized or judged or not liked or intruded on, intruding on people or anything like that. But I learned, the way I got over that is I, I learned to focus on people and their needs. And I saw people getting results in my in my network marketing business with my nutritional business. And I saw people feeling better and doing better. And then I realized if I hold back and if I'm just quiet and I keep my mouth shut and I stay within my own little house, my own little comfort zone, and don't challenge myself and don't talk to people, don't risk getting not liked, then the people that would have had the results would have gotten it. So that's what got me out there going door to door uh, I ended up going full-time network marketing, became award winner in my company, won a trip to the Bahamas. That was really fun, <laughs> especially floating in the salt water kind of effortlessly and all the buffets on the, the ship and on the cruise and everything. That was all real fun. Um, but the, the way that I did that is focusing on the people, not on myself, because I learned that fear is selfish. Fear is about me and shift, let me shift my attention to help other people. So welcome, Debbie, and welcome, Kitty. If anyone would, um, uh, there's some people here that I've helped with breakthroughs. If anyone wants to leave a comment, uh, I love that. I love to inspire other people. So uh, if you have a question about how to get unstuck or what do you do in this case, any, you know, a certain case, feel free to leave a question, leave a takeaway, leave a comment about breakthroughs. What's maybe a breakthrough that you've had? And how did you get that help? Love to hear that because this is about breakthroughs today. So believe me, if you have a fear about talking to people, you are so not alone. Would you believe even top earners who have been doing this years and they're very successful and speak from stage, many of them have the same fear still? Would you believe that? That is true. Don't feel so alone. And a lot of these, a lot of people need to face this again and again uh, because they might be reaching a new level. To, or a new, a new avenue to face in themselves or a new insecurity, you know, as they're, as they're reaching to a new level, they might find an, another block to break through about the same thing that they thought they already broke through. Never thought about fear being selfish. Isn't that something? Yep, fear's all about me. My attention is on me. When I'm worried about how am I going to come across, what are people going to say, are they going to like me, and all this stuff, are they going to accept me, uh, am I intruding, am I bothering them, that's all about me. And uh, so, yes, the way to, to shift out of that is think, what does that person need? Um, how can I help them? How will it be for them if I never offer them the option of my product or service? Then they, they get to do without it, right? They don't even have the option to even try it or consider it when it could be solve a major problem in their life, maybe a health or wealth problem or something. So, yeah. The, the solution that I found to get unstuck about fear is focusing on the people. 
get the attention, darn it, off me. <laughs> And focus because I can't do both, right? It's there's either fear or love, and love is an act of service and thinking about what other people need and how they're going to miss out if I just am quiet. I'm glad if that was a new thought for you, Brenda. That is way cool. Then this whole life was worth it. This whole life was just worth it. Um, so great point. Thank you for thank you for bringing that up. Anybody else have a takeaway or a question or a comment? How do you get unstuck? How do you overcome fear? I wanted to also mention that I help long-time network marketers, not just starting ones or fearful ones, but long-time um, top earners in network marketing, M even MLM millionaires who want a supportive partner to stay on top, to keep growing, to not slide back, to keep their motivation up, to keep their why going, or to find a new one or a deeper one. Once you've reached a certain level, how do you challenge yourself to the next level? That's what I do. To keep, as Tony Robbins says, to create a compelling future, a future so compelling for yourself. No, create a future for yourself that is so compelling that you feel uh, um, that you want to give it your all. That is that is what I do to help people keep reinventing their why, to keep re motivated, to re go to the next level, and what it means to become a real leader, to fine tune those leadership principles in top earners. Sometimes top earners find that they've neglected their health or their relationships, and that is also where I come in too. Another place that I help top earners is that they have a number of them referring people to me. When their team gets stuck, they will send people to me to help them in ways that they can't, be being a, a trained therapist. So those are the some of the, the ways that I help people, the services that I provide. I'm going to share a couple more tips in a minute. Uh, Kitty says... Best help me with this very issue. I'm so grateful. Oh, thank you, Kitty, for sharing that. So we have coached. And Brenda, I've always thought of myself as unselfish and still do. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to view my feeling about being unstuck. I hate the thought of being selfish. <laughs> well, you know, tending to our fears is an act of self-love. That's okay. That's okay to say, I, um, I feel frustrated, I feel scared, and I'm needing to break through. That's an act of love and a service to others to be able to know what you feel and what you need and then find a solution to that. That is my four-step real conversations process to say, well, I'm stuck, meaning I'm not making my calls. Uh, number two, I'm feeling frustrated or anxious or scared. And number three, I need um, self-esteem, I need an attitude of service, or maybe I need skills. Maybe I learn. I need to learn where to find people to talk to and what to say to them to get my confidence. So that third step, that need, that third step can often be tricky uh, for people to find because, again, it can be hidden from us. And that's where I help people to uncover what the need is. And then fourth, to be able to meet that need in a good way. In other words, to learn the skills, to gain the self-esteem, to focus on service, to get clear on your why, and to remove any blocks of, that you may have from childhood that have gone in there and stayed in there. I call it the inner critic that can, that you might have heard as a child that can still stay in there, such as, um, don't deserve to do it, you can't do that, who do you think you are, just, just, you know, don't go for, don't, uh, don't get outside your comfort zone. Um, they're essentially saying, don't show us up. <laughs> don't make me feel bad because I'm not doing as much as you are. Um, you know, to play it safe. Don't you think you have enough already? Why do you want to do that? You're not a salesperson. All these different things. So these are the internal voices that I help people to uncover and to get past. Um, and Kitty says, I was able to start moving ahead but then there's a new stuck fear, many layers to an onion, I know. And that's because there's always a plus element in all eternity. Nobody's ever perfect and there's always gonna be the next step to learn, fortunately, right? So no matter how good life is, there's always gonna be the next step and life brings us up against it. We bump our heads up against the next ceiling um, so that we can overcome that and burst into a new level and break into new level. And I've helped people to do this, and they were just thrilled, like in network marketing. One fellow 
um, did a challenge with me, a 60-day challenge, Jacob Rakowski, and he could not break into six figures. He was trying to and, and felt stuck. We did a lot of mindset and inner inner work first and skill work, and he not only jumped one rank, like was his goal, but two, and le leaped into six figures, he said, due to the personal growth work that we did. And hi, Joanne, welcome. So here are some possible places that you might feel stuck. This is a quiz that I often offer people. Maybe you recognize one or more of these things that can uh, be a stuck place for you. There's, there's 10 that I have um, identified as the most common places that people get stuck on their ways to success. I call them the 10 top mental blocks to success. So here they are. Um, number one, we believe it's not possible for me to get there. So why bother? I believe it's not possible. So don't even try, right? And number two, I think it's too hard and too long for me to do it. it it's just going to be, it's too big of a mountain to climb. Number three, I can't figure out how to do it or where to start. Number four, I'm not receptive to help. I don't really trust someone to help me. Number five, I'm not ready for the change it would bring, success. I'm not ready for that. Or, you know, I know the familiar stuff, but I know where I am now, but what would success do to me? Would I lose friends? Would I get a big head? Would I, you know, what? how would that change my life? And am I ready for that? Number six, I don't deserve a better life. I don't deserve it. Deep down, how do you feel? Number seven, I'd feel guilty if I had a better life than my friends or my parents did because my parents worked real hard. Who am I to outdo them? You know, would I lose friends if I became very successful? Uh, number eight, not ready to see the truth about myself. I'm not ready to look at myself, do some work on myself. Yeah, I'd rather stay in my comfort zone and, you know, not, not see these things about myself because that's, that's hard work, isn't it? And number nine, don't have enough time. That is an illusion. And number 10, don't have enough money. That is an illusion too. So I do help people to break through these blocks. And um, welcome, Sherry. How are you doing? Sherry, what I'm, thank you for hopping on. What I'm doing is I'm letting people know what I do in case you run across the right person that you could refer them to me. And as a body mind therapist, I help people to break through blocks of all types, whether it's in health, um, their relationships, or their work. So I help people to uncover the blocks that they run into and have breakthroughs so that they can live the life that they know they're meant to do. So I know a lot of people watching, this may not be for you. Um, however, you know a lot of people and maybe someone could, uh, would like to get unstuck. If they would like to consider coaching with me, then I offer a complimentary coaching session and they can private message me and we can set that up. So that is what I offer. I do have a body mind tip for you today. Being a body mind therapist, I like to use the body a lot to break through blocks because um, the body is connected with the subconscious, which is connected with the emotions, which is connected with the, the inner programming. So I like using the body very, very much to um, break through blocks or bypass, bypass even the intellect or the mind and get to really the, where the subconscious is and the, the seat of this is. So one tip is to write with your non-dominant hand. When you feel stuck, you can access this right side of your brain, the subconscious, your feelings and your needs easier if you write with your non-dominant hand. And it kind of will look like childish handwriting. Uh, but that, that's what it will access is um, kind of your innocent feelings and needs. And maybe you might write, like let's say if you're, you're network marketing and you're scared to make your calls and you might write. And so you're writing a letter from your Oh, your, your, I'll call it your inner child that's in touch with feelings and needs to your mental self or adult self. And your inner child might be saying, I'm scared to go out there and talk to people. What if they don't like me? And I don't know what to say. So then your adult self can say, okay, well, we need skills. We don't know what to say, so we need skills. And what if they don't like you? Well, your adult can then write a letter back with your dominant hand to your inner child and say, I will be with you. 
I will help you. I will get you the skills. And um, in fact, Bess and Jeff have a wonderful school for network marketers. It's a generic school where we can teach, where we can learn that. We can sign up for this class. It's only twenty-five dollars a month, and we can we'll get you in this school and we'll get you the basics that you need to learn to talk to people in the best, easiest, fastest, most painless way. In fact, they have a, a script that always gets a yes, never gets objections, works with all for personalities, and is duplicatable. So um, you can get that script, that free lesson of all that, and information about the class at World's Hottest Script Replay. So World's Hottest Script Replay is a Facebook event, and you can go and get the free script and the free class there and learn about the class. So that's what your letter, you can write that letter to your, your inner child. Um, this, is, this is how I'm going to help you get the skills and help you learn how to talk to people. And even if people say no to you, it doesn't mean you're not likable. You can look in the mirror and say to yourself, I am valuable and lovable. Even if somebody joins my business or not, or buys my product or not, I'm still valuable and lovable. So that is um, two ways that you can help your inner child. Number one, get the skills. Number two, reinforce um, their lovability, your lovability. So those are two quick body-mind techniques that I have to help because remember for the real conversations to self coach yourself through any block is always that you recognize the problem not making my calls number two the feeling frustrated scared anxious uh, whatever it is and number three the need in this case it could be self-esteem and skills and then you you solve those like I just the two ways that I just mentioned so I hope that that helps I do have another secret way to get unstuck, and that is to consider doing a challenge. Not consider, but to do one if you want to get unstuck. That is a good way to burst through any inertia, inactivity. It um, Doing a 36 to your 90 day challenge is a burst of activity where you do a lot of presentations to people within a short time. You can define your own challenge. It could be a 30, 60, 90 day. And you could do a um, two presentations a day, five, ten. Ten would be really a, a full-out big challenge. And maybe you could keep that up for ten days. And then you've got to follow up with those people, and then you've got to sign them up and train them. And you could repeat that if you want, or help your team to repeat that and be a three-way caller for your team. But before you start a challenge, um, welcome everybody who's hopping on. Thank you, Thon. I'd love to take any questions or takeaways that you have, any insights about how to get unstuck, or maybe you have a takeaway from this um, live that you'd like to share with people, or maybe you have a question. Love to love that. And uh, by the way, if you are a network marketing professional, meaning you consider yourself a serious person in network marketing and willing to learn and willing to help other people, please type yes because I want to congratulate you for that. So please type yes if you are a network marketing professional. Go far, go her best, Brazil. Thank you, Thon. Thank you for joining in now and the other times that you have. Okay, so my last tip is to do a network marketing challenge. You know that it's the presentations that really will move your business forward and get your plane off the ground, get your business off the ground. So consider doing two, five, ten new presentations to new people a day. First thing is get your skills up. I would really recommend that you go, to, go get those skills at World's Hottest Script Replay where we have that script that always gets a yes. It's the easiest, best script I know in all of network marketing. And then we have a class on that, a free class that comes with it about how to, how to use it, how to follow up, and how to sign people up after that, after using it. So number one, get your skills up. And of course, I'd recommend that you hop into our Sunday night class if you really are serious about getting your skills. Um, we have that every Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time, and it's a 90-minute class. Then we turn off the recording. It's recorded for people's convenience. But then we turn off the recording and have open coaching after that. And sometimes that's even the best part. So I would um, definitely get your skills up. Then consider doing the challenge. 
and when you do a challenge you get the momentum is very attractive to new people because you're active and and it's just very very attractive it also wakes up your team because they see you being active and they see you as being the role model and then you can turn around and help them do a challenge as well or they can join you on the challenge and it, but it's the most efficient use of your time. It brings the greatest return of investment on your time and energy of anything in network marketing. You don't have to gear up and gear down. You keep your momentum high. And the results from doing it fast are much greater, almost double, than doing the same thing slowly over time, like over 6 to 12 months. If you squeeze it all into three to two, 1 to 3 months, you get about twice the results that you would if you spread it out. So it's very efficient and it's also a lot of fun. I happen to like speed and when I've done challenges myself it's, it's quite thrilling uh, to be talking with this many people and getting the results that you do and I equate it with uh, when I've surfed and that wave has caught me, that, that thrill, that momentum, that speed or when, I, when, I, when I'm in a plane that takes off. I, I love that speed. I love that that feeling. It's the same thing when you do an in your network marketing business. So if you know someone, I'm, I'm asking a favor here, um, if you know someone who can use my services, who feels stuck, whether it is in network marketing or any business or relationships or health, that is what I do. Yes, I help in all those three areas very, very well uh, because I've been doing it so long, 30 years. 35 years now. Um, so I help people to get unstuck and if they're interested in learning more about doing a challenge or about private coaching, they can private message me and we can set up a complimentary coaching session for them. So thank you for letting people know, thinking about other people. Who has a question? Who has a takeaway? Love to hear that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I will check back on comments and we can keep the discussion going even after this live closes. Thank you all for being here. I hope you're enjoying the day, staying warm if needed. Uh, got about uh, six to eight inches of snow out there today in, in Midwest Kansas. Uh, kind of exciting. I like, I like all the seasons. I like they're different. They're good for different things, aren't they? Different, different times of the seasons. Thank you all for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.